This is a medium to hard level of difficulty GRE quant question from the topic statistics and average. Let's get started. The question reads maximum value of largest number. Let's read the question. The average of seven numbers is 100. The smallest value among the seven is 94. What we need to compute is the maximum value possible for the largest of these seven numbers. Let's start in a very systematic fashion. Let's start by assigning variables to these seven numbers. Let's say these variables, these numbers are A, B, C, D, E, F and G. One of these numbers is the largest number. Let's say A be that largest number. Our objective is to find out the maximum possible value for A. What's the first piece of data that we have? We have that the average of these seven numbers is 100, which means A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G divided by 7 is equal to 100. So cross multiply this, the sum of these seven numbers is equal to 700. Let's call this as equation 1. What's our objective? Our objective is to find the maximum possible value of the largest number, we said the largest number in the 7 is A. So we need to maximize this. What's the constraint given to us? The constraint given us, the smallest value among these 7 is a 94. Let's look at it. These are the 7 numbers A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. The sum of these 7 numbers works out to 700. We realized this in the last slide. We need to find out the maximum value possible for A. If you have to maximize one of these numbers, what should I do to the other numbers? The obvious thing that comes to our mind is basically minimize each of these numbers. I have to maximize this. So I'm going to minimize each one of these six numbers. Let's start with B. How low can the value of B be? That's where this constraint comes of use. The smallest value among these seven numbers is a 94. Let's make B to be a 94. So let's next move on to minimizing C. So if I minimize each of these six numbers, consequently we would have maximized A. That's evident to us. So let's minimize C. How low can a value of C be? If the least possible value has been given to B, then C has to be one more than that. This has to be a 95. That's a temptation we are getting. Hold on for a minute. Before we make C a 95, can C be a 94? Is there anything in the question statement that prevents C from being a 94? The question statement does not say that these numbers are distinct. It says that the least possible value for any number in this group is a 94. So if B is a 94, so can C be a 94? So can D be a 94, so can E be a 94, so can F be a 94, so can G be a 94. The crux of solving this question is realizing that the question did not mention these numbers to be distinct. So each of these numbers can take the minimum least possible value. And when they take such a value is when A will get maximized. So A plus 6 of these numbers taking a value of 94 should add up to a 700. So A plus the maximum value of A plus the minimum value is going to happen when these values are all minimized, which is 6 times 94. 6 times 90 is a 540 plus 24, which is equal to 564 equals 700. So A max is equal to 700 minus 564, which is equal to 136. So largest value, the maximum value possible for the largest of these seven numbers is 136. Quickly summarize the last bit of discussion in a printed form. All of these numbers, Add up to a 700, the constraint is the smallest value is a 94. Objective is to find out the maximum value possible for the largest number. So if you have to maximize A, we need to minimize the other six numbers. Maximizing A, minimizing the other numbers is none of these numbers can be less than 94. All of these numbers, each of these numbers can be a 94 because the question does not place a constraint that these numbers should be distinct. So A maximum plus 94 as a value assigned to the six numbers should add up to a 700. Consequently, A equals 136. That's a maximum value possible for A. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.